Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center presents a Medical Minute on Tomosynthesis for Breast Cancer Screening with Dr. Johnson Lightfoot. What Tomosynthesis really addresses is the problem that we as radiologists have with a mimic and a mask. By superimposing shadows, those shadows can mimic something that's important and can obscure or mask something that's not. And Tomosynthesis allows us to separate those two shadows in two different planes and we can look at them separately and separate the mask and the mimic. Another important benefit of tomosynthesis is that it reduces what we call mammographic callbacks. All women out there have had the experience of having a mammogram and two shadows are superimposed that give us as a radiologist the illusion that there is something there when in fact there is not. But we have to call the lady back because we don't want to miss a breast cancer. When we call her back, that results in anxiety, expense, additional radiation exposure, exposure, and perhaps may even go to a biopsy, simply to prove that something is merely an illusion, and tomosynthesis helps us work that out. It seems that women with heterogeneous breasts and dense breasts are the ones that benefit the most from tomosynthesis. However, it's also clear from more recent research that even women with fatty breasts or women with scattered densities in their breasts benefit from tomosynthesis as well. The greater benefit is achieved by women who have dense breasts, heterogeneous breasts. These tend to be women who are younger. Digital tomosynthesis is not your mother's mammogram anymore. This is a substantially stronger technology. It's different from what your mother, my mother, would have benefited from. And it's a result of technological improvements that we've been able to incorporate into practice.